You shall heal the sorrows of my soul. You shall cure the illness of my body. This, the theme for this year's eparchial pilgrimage to the shrine of Our Lady of Mariapoch, could be voiced by the world as an entity. To be sure, we are thankful for those who are working to heal the world's broken peace and economy, equality and ecology, and so forth, with political, scientific, and other such tools. We may consider this the healing of the body of the world, but humanity's soul is also in need of healing, and the two cannot be separated. How can the world know bodily health, peace among peoples, economic security, equality of individuals, and so forth, if we approach problems with violence and war, if we greedily take what belongs to others, if we kill babies in the womb, if we deny the privileged position of lifelong marriage of one man and one woman, if we allow people to suffer. The world is in need of healing, soul and body. If God's gifts, on the other hand, Gifts of wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, fear of the Lord are the basis for efforts. They will bear fruit in the material world. While visiting the church summer school at Annunciation Parish in Homer Glen, I saw the children making masks and capes to become superheroes. In a picture sent to me later, a girl dressed in her mask and cape was demonstrating her superpower of forgiveness. As members of the church, we each have power, superpowers in fact, powers of forgiveness, counseling, teaching, exhortation, almsgiving, shepherding, working for unity, compassion, love, faith, strengthening through the sacraments, motivating social service, prayer, deliverance, and more. But what we do individually cannot be compared with what can be done as the church. The church is the body of Christ, the people of God, the temple of the Holy Spirit. As the body of Christ and through the interpersonal relationship between the people of God, we, the Church, unite our whole person to the movement of the Holy Spirit, shared in a special way in the sacrament of Holy Communion. The world is in need of healing. As we each receive Holy Communion for the healing of soul and body, May our church be for the healing of soul and body of the world as well.